Hey, how's it going guys? This is Sam here with CustomPCReview.com at CES 2014 and we're here at the Western Digital booth and we're going to check out some of the cool new things uh, on display. So uh, uh, we're here with Heather, who's the product marketing manager for Western Digital. I'm actually the senior PR manager and in charge of uh, partner marketing. Okay, all right. And uh, you're going to show us a couple, uh, one new hybrid SSD, SSD mm -hmm. hard drive kind of thing and a uh, MyCloud device. These are the two things that we're showing here. We're two things that we're showing here. This is what I'm showing um, kind of the side. Most of the booth is surrounded by my cloud. Um, so I'll go get into that in a second. But this is our latest drive, um, mm -hmm. for, mostly for notebooks, but also for all-in-ones. And this is called the WD Black Squared. This is considered a dual drive. So it's actually two, two drives in one. Um, it's not considered necessarily a hybrid drive only because you actually, when you access it, it actually um, looks at it as two drives. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going through one interface, but it'll actually access the SSD and actually access the um, hard drive separately. Mm -hmm. So anybody that's doing a custom PC, or yeah. anybody that's doing, um, you know, wants to put this in one slot, mm -hmm. you don't have to compromise anymore. You don't have to compromise performance, mm -hmm. and you don't have to compromise capacity. Um, so you can put your OS on the SSD portion, and then you can put all your files and whatnot on the hard drive portion. So it kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Excellent, and uh, especially for notebook users who kind of only have like one slot or something like exactly. that, it would be the perfect solution. Perfect solution for the, that. Uh, um, mm -hmm. You do have to, so it comes in this you know, incredible box. Mm -hmm. um, the user experience is really great. Um, you're going to get this right out of the box, and you're going to see a key that's on top. That key is to enable the software that's um, part of the drive. Mm -hmm. So a user will plug this in um, to one slot. It's six gigs per second, so SATA 3, mm -hmm. um, into a 9.5 inch slot. And it'll automatically recognize the SSD portion. Um, mm -hmm. Once you enable the key, you just plug this in. It'll take you to our site, and it'll download the latest software for you. Um, mm -hmm. And then it'll kind of unghost the one terabyte portion. Oh, okay. So it'll unghost the partition. Mm -hmm. And that enables you to be able to um, put everything you want on the OS first and then determine what you want to have on the on the hard drive portion. Oh, okay. So um, you don't accidentally like install your OS on the hard drive and exactly. then be confused like why it's so slow or, exactly. or whatnot. Exactly. And it won't and it won't cross so for example, um, you know, if from a user perspective, you will see it as two separate drives, uh -huh. so it won't merge as in one. Mm -hmm. um, so you have a, you know, a good idea. And also, you control where the data goes. Mm -hmm. So from an hard drive, I mean, from a hybrid perspective, you know, the algorithms would, would you know, determine where you would put things. Oh, okay. This determines you determine where you want to store your, your data, mm -hmm. um, which okay. is great. So um, it's not nothing like a kind of like a hybrid caching solution. It's two actual separate. Correct. One SSD, one hard drive in one compact. Correct. Uh, you know, two and a half inch drive. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So it awesome. gives you a, kind of the best of both mm -hmm. worlds. It's a 120 gig SSD, mm -hmm. and again, a one terabyte. Hard drive. Okay, and uh, it's launched already. Yes. This is launched. This is launched very recently, mm -hmm. before the holidays. Okay. Um, the retail is two ninety nine. Uh, okay. For it, but um, we have seen it at some places uh, this week at like two forty nine. Okay. Um, so there are some some places that are, are discounting the drive right mm -hmm. now. Um, you know, for the holidays. Um, so that just launched. Okay. And uh, any um, plans on you know increasing the size of the SSD on board or? Yeah, that's always you know a, a something that we always look mm -hmm. at. Um, mm -hmm. We want to kind of see how the market adopts it right now. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, <laughs> yeah. And kind of see how that goes. But yeah, that's always kind of a, a you know a, a roadmap for us. Um, but we haven't launched anything just yet. Okay. Excellent. All right. So, so then this is our MyCloud. So you'll see in the booth today at CES that everything is um, surrounding our MyCloud uh, product. This is our MyCloud personal storage. And it's a single, this is a single bay um, unit. It's got two, three, or four terabytes um, for a user, um, which is a very large capacity. But it enables everybody to be able to have their own control, have their own personal experience with the cloud. So you can enable Dropbox on here, as well as um, other features. Um, so wherever you're going, wherever you're at, versus having your phone, having your iPad, having your computer, mm -hmm. you'll be able to access your data anywhere you are. Mm -hmm. So instead of paying you know, large portions of money every month to a cloud service, yeah. this is your own cloud service. You pay you know, 150 bucks one time, there's no subscriptions, there's no service mm -hmm. fees, the app's free. Um, so everything is right here, all in your control, and you have your own personal cloud. Oh, okay. So, um, 
with a device like this, basically all you would have to do is say, plug it into your network right. at home, and then you can access it you know, on your smartphone. Is it through a website or? On your smartphone, it will be through our app, okay. our MyCloud app. And it would automatically detect uh, you know, yours, or you would kind of have a login kind of thing. You have a login, okay. you have your own secured login. Okay. Um, and so you download the app, have your own secured login. Mm -hmm. On your PC, it would be through our MyCloud um, interface. Mm -hmm. um, and then on your iPad or wherever else you're at, it would be the same download um, that you would on your on your iPhone or even on your Android device. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, has this launched yet? Or this just launched as well. Okay. Um, and this is all. This is what we're kind of showing here at CES. Mm -hmm. Um, there's different capacity points, so it starts at 150 and goes up from there. Okay. Um, and then we also have a four bay version called okay. EX4, mm -hmm. and that goes up to 16 terabytes. Okay, and that's um, more for the business side that's where more people for the need. Professional yeah. side, those that want to put things in like RAID 1, RAID 5, um, and mm -hmm. you know, and have a little bit more of a backup solution. Mm -hmm. um, and so we we have a lot of photographers that use that particular mm -hmm. product as well. Um, so it's really great for that. Um, and then it also has USB 3.0 on the back. Okay. Um, yep. So you're able to also increase the capacity point by adding additional DAS products, direct attached storage to this mm -hmm. um, through, through the USB. So say like an external, like Western Digital Drive. Absolutely. You attach that and then so you, you get additional storage. you could put a My storage. Passport in there, you could mm -hmm. put another My Book on there, you could um, actually expand the capacity that way. Mm -hmm. And then you'd still, again, would have access to that, that data through the network. Okay, great. And uh, any price points on these uh, off the top of your head? 150 to start um, at okay. two terabytes, and then it goes up from that depending okay. on the capacity. Okay, and the maximum capacity is? For the one bay, the max capacity is four terabytes. Okay. Um, for the four bay, the max capacity is 16. 